For many years, we've known that disease poses one of the greatest threats to, to mankind and animal kind. It's bad enough that disease is naturally occurring, but the fact that disease can be used as a weapon is something that the program I represent, the Global Partnership Against the Spread of Weapons and Materials of Mass Destruction, is working to prevent. All too often, we are seeing terrorists use any means they can to wreak havoc on our societies, on our people. The fact that they could use disease is something that we cannot afford to ignore. Rinderpest eradication was one of the great success stories we've seen in, in, in so long. The fact that it's only the second disease ever eradicated by human means is extraordinary. But the fact that it's been eradicated doesn't mean that it couldn't come back. It could come back naturally, but it could also come back very deliberately if someone chose to reintroduce this disease because it would now take hold in a way that it wasn't able to when the previous campaigns were in place. We are working with the OIE very carefully and with member countries in order to make sure that the, the disease remains a relic of history and doesn't become a new infectious disease burden. Trying to stay ahead of the curve when you're dealing with biological threats is extraordinarily difficult. You never know what's coming around the corner. But preparing our partners to prevent, detect, and respond to all manner of disease, whether it's naturally occurring, accidental, or deliberately caused, whether it's a human disease, an animal disease, the next outbreak is something that we are working very hard to prevent. And partnerships such as the one that the Government of Canada has with the World Organization for Animal Health is going to help us achieve that objective.